What's going on, boys and girls? Today, the second traditional cook on the uh, on a new pit. So I always test chicken wings. You know, like like I said before, ribs they take enough time to where you know you can really assess how it controls its heat, how it throws out smoke, all that other good stuff. Secondly, chicken wings I find are just another good way to kind of test things because you want them, you know smoky you want that flavor in there you want them tender you want them juicy and you want them crispy so today lunch time man got some beautiful chicken wings sections here chopped up uh, i'm gonna dress them with uh my norm basically this is just um mold on flake salt pepper um a little cayenne a little paprika a little garlic powder a little onion powder a little celery seed and um a little bit of the green chili flake because i had some left over from the i had some of the salt and pepper blend left over from the ribs last night so i just dumped it in here and then um a teaspoon of baking powder um baking powder works great on chicken wings i'm sure you've heard it millions of times uh it's a leavening agent works awesome and while cornstarch and all that other stuff works you know good as well i just find uh baking powder has like virtually no taste to it so it just does the job it's there to do you know and it, you know it's kind of like the you know the guy that just sits in the corner at the party he brought all the beer you know it's for everybody to have some fun but he just kind of shuts his mouth and sits in the corner and we don't have to deal with him because he's kind of annoying you know what i mean so anyway that's what we got we're just going to do a quick prep on these i like to use a ziploc just because I get a nice even coat that way. So we're going to go like so. I'm going to do about half. Do like two batches here. Just like that. That way I know I get a good coat on the first. Should be all right. Now we're going to take our blend here. Make sure it gets a good mix. Got to remember the uh, salt is much larger so it wants to settle you know so if you just pour from the top you're not getting everything so we're just gonna hit that with about half our rub keep our bag full of air good shaky shaky shaking big manhandle them a little bit make sure the ones that were on the top that grabbed all that rub, let it go a little bit, and spread it to the rest of the boys, like so. Now I'm going to take these guys, dump them out, throw the other batch in. Man, I feel a sneeze coming on, guys. Again, get the mix going. Put another batch in there. I always save some just for, um, you know, touch-ups at the end. Plenty of air. Nice coat. like that guys all right I'm just gonna level these out best I can make some room you'll have to uh, apologize for the background music my wife is watching a musical <laughs> and I don't know what the hell it is but it's very musically Hey, unless that's your thing, man, you could be singing along right now. It's your opportunity, guys. Belt it out. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. All right. So we got some nice coat. Let me give me a little rinse here. All right. 
So now, I'm just going to take the rest of this. Just give her a little sprinkle, sprinkle. Focusing on the ones that look a little more whiter than the others. Just like that. Good enough. All right, guys. I'm going to let these hang out. Let's go fire up that silverback. All right, so I just wanted to do a quick little recap. Again, everybody was hungry, so I kind of, you know, wrapped up that video yesterday real quick. Just a few things that I've noticed here while I was cooking on this thing yesterday, as well as the four-plus hours I had it burning um, the night I did the burning and the seasoning and all that other good stuff. Um, just a couple of things I want to note. The thing is, I mean, it's a solid cooker, man. It, it seriously is. You can definitely tell it's well built. Um, what I am most impressed about, honestly, is the controller. Um, it just seems just well dialed in, man. I mean, it it, it really does, it really seems like they put a lot of a lot of thought into the controller and. You know, at first, I mean, although I've heard nothing but good things, I was a little, you know, it's pretty simplistic and, you know, stuff like that. But I'm seeing that as it's kind of a benefit. Um, and what I'm noticing is what's inside is it, you know, it, it really did a hell of a job yesterday managing some temps. So today I'm actually going to use both modes. Um, I'm going to start it off in mode two because we want to throw some smoke at these things. I'm going to roll at nice 225 and we're just going to throw some smoke dry out that skin um just kind of just let everything go down let some of that fat under between the skin and the meat render since i didn't really let them dry out as long as i normally would so we're gonna let the grill do that for me while it's taking on some of that nice smoke flavor and then i'm going to crank it up and i'm going to switch to pid which is mode one uh, because i want it to be on its game, you know what I mean, when it comes to my temps, and I want to bring it up, I'm going to just full out crank it, and we're just going to grill these things off, so that way I can kind of see its grilling ability too, um, you know, pellet grills aren't really known for their grilling, which is why I have the smoke fire, because that thing will grill, man, and, you know, I'm, yeah, you can get grill grates, and, you know, and all that other stuff for it, which are great, but, um, you know, if I don't need to, I don't need to, you know, so that's what we're going to do today. That's the plan. Let's fire her up. Just going to kick it on. It automatically defaults to 250. So I'm going to bring it down to 225 and I'm putting it in mode two. So we're in uh, standard pro mode. We're at 225. I'm going to give it a few minutes. I know it heats up stupid quick. It's uh. It's actually 36 degrees out right now, so it's a little bit nipply. It's not windy, though, um, but we'll see what happens. So I'm going to let it go. Like I said, I'll probably still let it set in for about 15, 20 minutes um, just to make sure everything is settled in, balanced in, not to mention it gives my wings a little more time to dry since I typically will dry them for hours, you know, sometimes even overnight. So, But that's it. Let's get to cooking. All right, guys, we're settled in at 225 pro mode. We're going to do this super technical. Like that. Just like that. And I'm just going to kick them around here. And even mess with it. It's lunch. Make sure they're not laying on each other. That's all I care about right now. Let them get some smoke around them. Let them do their thing. Call it a day. I'm just cooking wings here, guys. I seriously used to uh, be so anal about just everything. I figured, you know, I thought like everything had to be this well orchestrated you know system while i'm cooking and and then i don't know if it's just the older i got or i don't know the lazier i got or i honestly don't know what it is but now it's just 
I mean, I just, it doesn't matter, man. I've just found that it just doesn't matter as much as one would think it does, you know? So, all right, I'm just going to let them go. And um, see what happens. So I'm going to just try and build up some color on them. And uh, like I said, just let that um, let that fat kind of render in between the skin and the meat. And, you know, just take them up a little bit nice and slow. And then, like I said, we're going to flip that bitch to uh, mode one. We'll go to the PID and crank it. We'll max it out and grill those things off and see what happens. All right, guys. So it's been about 45 minutes or so. Check them out. Check these things out. Look how nice and dried out they are. Try to get them on the camera. Check that out. Man, they're all like that too. Nice and dry, nice and dry. So, all right. Let's commence the grilling, shall we? All right, so first off, I'm going to hold the mode button, switch it over to mode one, which is PID, and then we are going to max her out. 500 degrees coming up. So I'm going to let that thing go. Keep it on there right as we heat this thing up. Let's take her up to 500. And I'm not sure if I mentioned at the beginning, but I'm using the PID now um, just simply for the fact that I want it to get to 500. I want it to hold there. I want to hold that high heat as long as I possibly can. And in theory, the PID should do that. So that's what we're going to do. We'll grill them off, let them go on that side for a little bit, flip them over, get the other side, let's eat them. All right, guys. It uh, took no time at all, five minutes to get to uh, 500 here. Drilling her up. Come in here, give these guys a little flip. Good looking wings, guys. Good looking wings. Should have pulled my upper rack up. Oh, wow. Well. These things look uh, half as good, or taste half as good as they look. I'll, I'll be a fan. Definitely have a nice color. Definitely dry. On the outside. Hopefully not on the inside. It should be, though. Seen it in a cartoon once. Hideous! I guess what I'm noticing right now is um, a very, I mean, just evenness across everything. I don't know if you guys are noticing that, but all the wings look um, like seriously the same, man. So there's definitely some uh, even temps in there. So that's nice to see. All right, I'm going to let them go for a little bit longer. Give them another flip. I just really want to get a nice crispy outside. Half of them I'm going to spin in some buffalo. The other half I'm going to keep dry. So um, the ones that I spin in buffalo, I want to hold up. Now with my buffalo, since I'm not going to spin them and toss them back in, which I do often, um, it's already getting late. Every, you know, my son and I want to eat lunch, so my wife also, and... Uh, what I'm going to do is I have the, well, what I am doing is I have the buffalo sauce already on the counter. Um, it's been in the bowl, ready for the spin, and uh, get that to room temperature. That way it's uh, just nice, you know, and, and it, instead of getting the wings wet, it'll coat the wings, you know, so, um, which is what 
the butter really does in the buffalo sauce. Uh, it's not so much just for, um, you know, toning down the heat or anything like that. It gives it that silkiness. It gives it that, um, oh, just that thickness a little bit, I guess, is what you would say. Um, so it doesn't just soak the wings and make them wet. Um, it just kind of coats them, you know, and that's what we want with the wings. So, all right, I'm going to let these go. I'll give them a, probably another flip, see what they're going on, and we'll grab Uncle Buck and scoop them off and see what we made. All right, guys, been about 10 minutes. I gave them another flip. Holy shit, they're really good, man. So check this out. We are going to get them off. Damn. Here, let me show you one. Check these things out, guys. Look at that. Oh, oh, holy shit. That is a beautiful chicken wing. Beautiful. Love it. Love when a plan comes together. All right, so I'm going to kill this guy. Just like that. I'm going to Uncle Buck these things right off of here. Maybe, 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 maybe not. There we go. All right. Check it out, guys. Come on. Them are beautiful, man. Nice and crispy. Nice color. Oh, oh. All right, I'm going to let them sit for a couple minutes, get in the house, and uh, let's give them a little tasty, tasty. All right, guys, here we are. I'm even going to grab a small one just to see how juicy they are inside. Check this guy out. Listen to that. That's nah, kind of hard to hear. Look at that. Holy shit. Look how nice and moist that is inside there. Let's see what we made, guys. Wow. Awesome wings. Like, seriously. Mighty fine. Nice. Smoky. Tons of flavor. Wow. All right. I'm not going to sit here and eat them for a minute. Wow. All right. So that's it. That's the last of the traditions. I'm just going to say I'm impressed. It's a good cooker, man. So no regrets. But all right, guys. That's it. I'm going to eat some lunch. Enjoy.